Well, greetings. It's the weekend, and this is your update and special week at Boomer Music. It is Step Up Day. We always do it twice a year, and uh, this is going to be the Saturday before Thanksgiving, so the 18th of November, 2023, over at the store from 10 to 4. We're going to have wide a selection of stuff. Representatives from manufacturers will be there. There's financing options. Come and try out stuff. Even if you're not sure that now's the time to upgrade and step up an instrument, come see what's available. It's going to be a great time. But before we get to more of that stuff, over on the Drums West side of things, uh, Peter did a video talking about foot splashes. And one of the things that he talked about was an alternate technique if you happen to have some large feet. So check out that short. Foot splash idea, I just wanted to show one alternate technique for that. What do you do if your feet are bigger and you just you can't get your whole foot on the pedal board? You go sideways. Another little foot, different way to do that foot technique, same thing, um, sideways. So check out that video over on the Drums Bus YouTube channel. He's kind of done a series on hi-hat techniques, uh, so there's lots of good stuff up there that'll uh, kind of up your game. And then over on the view from the road this week, uh, I was doing a lot of uh, in-school tryouts, which is going around to schools and bringing step up product and having kids try them out in context and rehearsal. So check out a clip from that video because there's some really cool things that I got to do and see as a part of that. And I don't often get to sit in these rehearsals and get to see the teachers and actually I see them every week but I don't get to see them do their thing and it's been really really cool to get to see that too not just the the kids light up when they see and hear how different their the their sound can be with a different instrument but also getting to see these teachers in action these educators and see how they approach rehearsals it's been decades since I've sat in a high school rehearsal and uh, it just brings back those fond memories and it's really neat to get that perspective on it now and to get to see that and for anyone who's wondering music is alive and well Good people doing great stuff out in our schools. Then uh, over on the Boomer YouTube channel, I did a short, uh, one of my five things videos, and again, keeping with the theme of Step Up Day, which is five things to consider uh, when stepping up your instrument. Again, this is one of those wraparound videos, so it's going to kind of end abruptly, but uh, check out that short. The five things you should consider when upgrading your instrument. What are your eventual goals with your playing? If you're going to be a professional performer versus an educator versus playing in a community band or orchestra, your needs are going to be very different. Is now the right time to upgrade your instrument? Maybe a new accessory like a mouthpiece or a bow would get the sound that you're looking for. How does the new instrument feel? Is it a significant improvement over what you already have? In that case, it's probably time to upgrade. If you're taking private lessons or have a trusted advisor, bring them along when you're trying out instruments. Another opinion is always a good thing. Budget is always going to be a consideration. Work with your local music store. They may have some financing options that you hadn't considered, and they'll have other information too, like like I said, the video wraps around. But then over on uh, the podcasting store uh, medium page this week, I did another version of uh, why you should upgrade. Uh, I've done uh, versions of that where I talk about how when I got my step up trumpet, uh, my dad and I, we weren't even looking to get a trumpet. Well, I had a thought as I was uh, really considering what the reasons are and when you should do it. And the comparison that I came up with, strangely enough, is that stepping up your instrument is kind of like baby clothes. What do I mean by that? Well, anyone who's a parent knows that when someone, when you've got an infant or a toddler, clothing is sized based on age. And clothing is kind of interchangeable, meaning that, you know, one thing gets the job done just as well as another. You're trying to keep the kid warm, keep them protected, that kind of stuff. Well, as they get older, they have more preferences as to characters that they want or styles of clothes or colors and all that kind of stuff. And that is when the clothing starts being sized based on size, not age. Well, instruments are kind of the same way. Uh, when you're a beginner, any quality beginner instrument is going to get the job done and get you where you need to be. But as you develop as a player, you're going to have preferences of what you want to sound like and what you envision you know, your artistic expression to be. And what works for you is not going to work for everybody. I get asked that question a whole bunch, you know, what's the best instrument? Well, 
for me, I know what it is, but for you, I can't answer that question without trying out stuff. So that's kind of what I was talking about, how uh, stepping up your instrument is like baby clothes. Check out that essay. You'll see a little bit more of what I'm talking about on that. But that is your weekend update. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you at Step Update. Please come on by, try out the stuff, ask lots and lots of questions. That's what we're there for. As always, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.